this is the exciting bit, the black block is going to go on now. So you can see I've taped up the room. I'm doing the three, <laughs> doing the three stripes. I'm just going for it. We'll be fine. Go give it a, a shot, don't you? Um, okay, so for this bit, I'm losing the light. So there's a few things to apologise for. Me, my face. <laughs> I'm losing the light here. So the quality's probably dropped somewhat. Um, and also there's like a load of white up here and just a little bit of the picture here. Anyway, whatever. So for the exciting bit in the actual painting the colour block, you really want to push down, make sure this is firmly stuck to the wall, otherwise you will get bleeding regardless of the quality of the tape. You need to prep um, well. I'm going to use a combination for this of some brushes. I've got here a uh, was it a one and a half inch Harris brush? I mean, it doesn't really matter what kind of brush you use. Basically, you want to use a bigger brush. Um, and also this rat tail brush, which is really good for, um, I'd say for, um, what do you call it? Marking in? Not marking in. Cutting in cutting in the lines, and we'll talk about that in a minute. Sometimes I use this brush as well. Um, so this is Rat Tail, it's a Monarch one. Um, it just gives a nice, smooth line. Um, this is a Monarch one as well. Um, it's an 18 millimeter. Um, this is good for lines too. Um, sometimes I use that on like the little, bit, the little corners. Um, and then ultimately, the big block of color, I'm gonna use a ruler, just a small one. Well, it's a big ruler, but just without the pole, because it's on the lower bit and you get more control that way. I've got no paint on this, right? But I'm going to pretend. Is cut in, first of all. So what that means is you want to take the paint and you're just going to um, paint along in the direction of the tape, okay? And I would do that before I put any of the other colour on first. You want to do the skirting boards too, which you should have taped up unless you're feeling particularly brave. Then you want to take the ruler after that, once you've marked everything up, and paint. Um, you could paint in the direction. When you're going over the tape, you want to paint over the direction of that the tape's going. One thing I did mention was, um, I pour the paint out into one of these trays, um, and if you cannot be bothered with washing a tray, or if you're using multiple paint, like what I'm doing now, I would buy these if I were you. They are an absolute godsend. The disposable trays, you shove it in there. Um, once you finish with one colour, you can just throw that out and then pop in another one and you just need one tray. So they're great. Okay, so for cutting in, what you want to do is take the paintbrush. I'm just taking the bigger one. I'm using the Harris one. And you want to, for the first coat anyway, paint in the direction like this of the wall, so of the tape. Again, making sure the tape's firmly down. We want to do that um, like all the way around, obviously, and the skirting as well. Um, and then after, you want to do the first coat with the roller. Oh, Great. I'm going to do the first coat with the roller, and then you want to do a second coat with the roller and before the paint dries so it's still tacky you need to take off all your frog tape. me cut in um, everything in the room so you can see there I mean the lines have pretty much disappeared but when you peel that off um, then you'll be able to see it I'm not a mess so yeah I'm really sick there with that um, so the reason I cut in for this is it just makes it so much easier with the roller because now I'm just going to take the roller and um, fill in the blanks really 
and then the sections that have the tape, which you can't really see now, but I'll be able to see it. I must make sure that when I'm putting the roll over, I'm doing it in the direction that the tape is, so that's um, like that direction. 